Astronomers and philosophers are discussing whether or not aliens may think that we're sexist due to an image sent to extraterrestrials in 1972 on the Pioneer 10 spacecraft. Now, if you're thinking what the hell is Nick talking about, allow me to explain. This spacecraft, Pioneer 10, was part of this mission, mm -hmm. we put this plaque on it, okay? And this plaque had some pictures of humans, uh, pictures of the Earth, where we are in relation to the sun, who we are, where we come from, in case, dun dun dun, some aliens found it, they'd know what humans Logical are like. Logical thinking, right. right? There was even this record on there, if these if these aliens are, are, are into vinyl and, 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 and old music, there was even a record on there that they could play if they could figure out how to do it that, that had a lot of humans saying hello in different languages. Um, it had uh, sounds from the earth, people talking, people laughing, crying, all sorts of different sounds just to give them a picture. Now, we have a picture of this plaque and the reason I'm bringing it up is because now a lot of people are thinking maybe this is outdated and maybe we need to kind of reamp this whole thing and do another one because there's some problems with this one. Now let's go full screen on this. I want to talk about some of the problems that people have a problem with. Now, first off, man and a woman. Clearly, Caucasians only. Clearly, there's other people on Earth that are not Caucasian. Well, Again, hold on, let me, let me just go through this real quick. And then okay. at the bottom, you see where we are in relation to our sun. There's our sun. Now, he has his hand up to show that we have opposable thumbs, that we have joints that move. She's kind of cast away to the side with her hands down, not really doing anything. So people, again, are saying, well, that's kind of sexist. Now. Here's where, the, here's where the whole argument lies. Now, the whole sexist thing, I think, is a little ridiculous. We're being a little bit too uh, sensitive. But one thing that you can't deny is the fact that there's only two Caucasians on this damn thing. And I think there's a lot more types of humans on Earth other than Caucasians. So I think it is kind of right to kind of redo this whole thing and kind of make it a little bit more up to date. What do you think, Margaret? What do I think? I think that you should climb on up there and put a We Are the World poster up. I mean, you're, you're right. That is mm -hmm. a very uh, small-minded... Maybe just someone taking a selfie would be a little bit uh, more updated. Maybe that. But you um, might be reading too much into that regarding yeah. the sexism issue. She's just standing there. Well, it's that, not like she's subservient. She's not bowing or kneeling. She doesn't right. have... A but full... some people are saying she's not just standing. She's kind of cast to the side with her oh. hands down. As this guy's doing this manly Jeez. gesture with his hand up in the air. I know. Again, I think people are being a little oversensitive, but there's actually a whole contest now that's being done in order for someone to come up with a new, better version mm -hmm. of this. And, I, and it's a million dollars is the main prize. The contest is part of a hundred and million dollar breakthrough initiative project that was started by Yuri Milner. I did a story about that not long ago, the Russian billionaire. Um, so he wants to listen to, to aliens and find aliens, and this is nice. part of it. So I, I just think it's interesting that he's kind of turning to the people and saying, hey, let's make a new, more representative for everyone, not just white naked people, you know, uh, of, of what humans are like. Right. So it's kind of cool. He's offering money. A million That's dollars. very uh, tempting. One million. Oh. <laughs> so uh, what do you think? Is, is it think ridiculous? I it does, it, does, it does it need to be redone, or is, or is the old one just fine? You know, I... Um, it probably needs to be redone, only because who, yeah. It's just tacky. It is a little tacky. <laughs> it is a little. And, that, and she's very, they're very um, proportionately, you know, I don't even know if that really represents. Disproportionate or proportionate? What do you think? <sighs> Either way, I mean, you got to give it to me. I it mean, looks pretty hourglass, cool. full hips. I don't know anyone who looks As an like alien that. who looks nothing <laughs> like us, who acts nothing like us, who probably is even carbon based, who probably comes from some completely different thing, I think they would just look at it and be confused and say, what the hell is this, anyways? Maybe so. I mean, look at him. He just looks confused, doesn't he? <laughs> I mean, I don't think it's really going to matter, right? I so, don't. so uh, while I do agree that we shouldn't just have white naked people on here, I think at the same time people are being a little oversensitive mm -hmm. and it's not sexist or anything. People are just kind of reading into it way too much. Although, I really do agree. And then there's that whole question, should we even be telling aliens, hi, we're friendly, this is where we live, come eat us, you know? We don't know what's out there. <laughs> you, don't, you don't go to the jungle, you don't start screaming, right, because a tiger's come gonna come us. and rip your head off. Yeah, exactly. So, that's where the discussion lies. I, I, I'm just putting it out there. I wanna know what you guys think. I mean, should this thing be updated? What do you think about Yuri Milner offering a million dollars for the new version of this. I think that in itself is pretty cool, but we wanna know what you guys have to, uh, have to say about this, but if you haven't already, subscribe to the Live TV for more.